Today we have this really cool differential equation. It's the squared cosine of x times the second derivative of y with respect to x being equal to 2 times y. Now, how should we approach this? Well, a nice way to start would be to expand using the secant function. So that on the left hand side, we have the second derivative. So we have d squared y by dx squared equal to 2y times the squared secant of x. Okay, cool. This is a very nice structure. It's nice because it allows us to look for a solution development in a really intuitive manner. What I'm trying to say is because you have the squared secant function, this hints that maybe the particular solution y1 equal to tangent of x will work. So let's make use of this. Let's see if this fits the bill. So differentiating with respect to x gives us the squared secant of x. And differentiating one more time gives us 2 times the secant of x. And the derivative of the secant function is secant x times tangent x. So we have the squared secant of x. We have this factor of 2 as well. And this tangent x term is what we're calling y. So we have 2y times the squared secant of x equal to the second derivative of y with respect to x which is cool. That means this particular solution works. Now that we have a particular solution that works, we can look for a general solution using the method of undetermined coefficients. So let's say that the general solution y is this particular solution tangent x times another function u of x. And now let's look for this function u by plugging in the structure into our differential equation. For that, we need to differentiate with respect to x. That gives us u prime times the tangent of x plus u times the squared secant of x. And because our differential equation is of second order, we have to differentiate this once again to get y double prime equal to u double prime times tangent x plus u prime times the squared secant of x. And now for this second term on the right hand side, we have u prime times the squared secant of x. So let me just combine them. 2u prime plus 2u prime times secant square x, that is. And finally, we have u times 2 times the secant of x, and the derivative of secant x is once again secant x, wait a second, times tangent x. So again, we can write this here as the squared secant of x times tangent x. And this last term on the right hand side is pretty familiar. Why is that so? Well, we have this 2 and this factor of secant square x. And we also have u times the tangent of x. And u times tangent x is exactly what we're calling y. So that means this here is once again the second derivative of y with respect to x. So because you have the second derivative here and on the right hand side as well, we can just cancel them out. And this implies that 0 equals u double prime times tangent x plus 2u prime times the squared secant of x. So it turns out to solve our given differential equation, we have to solve another second order differential equation that we made in the course of the solution development of your given second order differential equation. Okay, but thankfully this one's pretty easy because we can solve it using a substitution that is letting u prime equal to z. So this implies that 0 equals z prime times the tangent of x plus 2z times the squared secant of x. And this is a nice separable differential equation in z and x. So let me just write this out as negative z times z prime times tangent x equal to 2z times the squared secant of x. Separating the variables gives me negative z prime by z equal to this factor of one half as well equal to the squared secant of x divided by the tangent of x. And now integrating with respect to the variables either side, we have negative one half log z equal to log tangent x plus some plus the logarithm of some positive constant, call it a. 
Okay, cool. So this implies that to get rid of the negative sign on the left hand side, I could just write log z as log one by z. And we have this factor of one half as well equals log a times the tangent of x. Now, if I expand using a factor of two, then what I get is the logarithm of one by z equal to the logarithm of the square of a times the square tangent of x. And this of course implies that one by z equals a squared times the square tangent of x. And now we were looking for the function u and z is the derivative of u with respect to x. So this implies that what we have is in fact dx by du equal to a squared times the square tangent. So again, we have a separable differential equation in u and x. So writing this out as one by a squared times the cotangent, the squared cotangent of x equal to du. Oh wait, I forgot this dx term. And once again, integrating, we have on the left-hand side one by a squared. And to integrate the squared tangent, we could use this relationship with the squared secant of x. And on the right-hand side, we're left with just u. And writing one by a squared as another constant c, the antiderivative of uh, the squared cosecant is of course the negative cotangent of x minus x plus another constant b equals u. So now that we have the function u and recall exactly what our general solution was, we had y equal to u times the tangent of x. So that means we have negative c times the cotangent of x minus cx plus b all times the tangent of x. So let me just simplify this a bit. We have b times the tangent of x minus cx times the tangent of x and the cotangent and tangent functions cancel out, leaving us with just a negative c. So that's the solution to our differential equation problem. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you. See you next time.